Hey all my Cancer friends and welcome to my channel. I am doing your October 2018 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Cancer signs. Beautiful ones of love and light. What messages do you have for our Cancers in October? Please and thank you. All right. Finding justice within within a relationship, within a situation. Um, balancing out the karmic scales, um, finding success if you are dealing with a um, legal matter. Yeah, some of you could be going through a divorce currently. Um, and you will come out on the top end of that if you are going through a divorce. If you're facing legal issues, you will also... Um, things will be in your favor as well. Um, there's something you're keeping hidden, though. This is either the top row is either you or the person you're connecting with. Um, there's something being hidden. Yeah, you're feeling you're feeling like you are. Um, like you're creating your own prison within your mind you're creating your own cage you're not allowing yourself to break free um because you're scared of the unknown so you'd rather just turn a blind eye you um you or your partner did have a choice do have a choice with the lovers um with it being on the reverse side um somebody is not getting chosen and and somebody is, uh, somebody is feeling the pain from that, mourning the loss of um, something, of a relationship, feeling trapped in this feeling that you can't get out of. Oh, there was a lot of um, conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of back and forth. Um, this could be within the divorce as well because it, it comes in right under the justice card. So there could be some nasty fights going on um, in the courtroom. But there was a lot of a lot of conflict here, a lot of arguments. The next person or the person that you're dealing with, the next card out is the Ten of Swords. Um, on on the uh, on the reverse side. So they're they're looking back at their old self. They went through a death and a transformation. And they're they're looking back on how far they've actually come. Um, now pick whichever row is yours, Cancer, and your partner's is the other. But one of you, um, one of you is in this last eclipse that we had, really transformed, really shed their own, uh, their old self. They found um they found success in all the hard work that they put in, um, or they will find. Yeah, they're finding success. New life after death. Um, they have the hermit could be dealing with a Virgo or um, somebody who is retreating. Somebody who is going within themselves to um, figure out what it is that they really want. Yeah, because right now they're just in limbo. They're not, they don't know what they want. They're juggling back and forth, um, not sure what to do, where to go from here, um, if whether they should go back to this relationship. Uh, yeah, what is Cancer's overarching energy? And their partner's overarching energy. Okay. So um, you guys seem to be working very hard trying to bring something into reality. You see they're kind of see-through on this side. And on this side, they're actually in stuck in the tree. So you're working hard for something that is not here yet. Something that has not manifested. But you are working extremely hard going within to 
to serve yourself, to find yourself, to heal, and to be ready to offer um, yourself to someone wholeheartedly because you are getting a new beginning in love. You are um, finding joy and love and abundance once again because of all the hard work that you're doing within, all the hard work that you're doing to be able to offer yourself to this new beginning. The person you are connecting with, they are the king of wands. So it uh, could be a fire sign, but uh, this person is very feisty, fiery, passionate. Um, they know what they want and they go after it and they get it. They are moving um, in an opposite direction. Now this could be you as well, Cancer. Just pick your side. They are moving on in a more spiritual path. Um, they are taking their cup and, and walking in the opposite direction. Um, so I do see this as being a um, split up this month. Um, let's see what else we got here. Way too many. Okay, what is Cancer's outcome for the month of October? Look at that. Your outcome is a passionate new beginning. Wow. Okay, your outcome of the month. You are going to be leaving the month of October with a whole new outlook. You're going to have a passionate new beginning because somebody new, brand new, is coming in to offer you love. And even though um, they don't have a lot, they have enough um, to give you. For some of you, you have two different people coming in, um, an earth sign or a water sign. For some of you, um, you're going to have to make have a choice to make between which one to choose. Um, this is for people who are... Um, for, this, for the two that are coming in, this most definitely is new love, somebody that you've never dated in this lifetime, but you have to heal and let go of this relationship, um, which I do see you doing, finding justice within that, um, and you are going to be most beautifully ready for a new beginning, Cancer, um, come the end of October, beginning of November. Like I said, for, two, or for a group of you, you have two different people coming in for... Um, for others, it's one person that holds both these qualities. Okay. Per your bottom of the deck, children. Your love life is being affected by children, which I do feel that this divorce, this separation, there are children involved. Um, so that does play a part in some of your decisions, your choices. Your first part out from the romance angels very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you now. And you, I see for this group of you, you are choosing love. You want love and it is coming in for you as soon as you set your intentions and make them clear to the universe. Um, it's time to let go of control issues, however. Allow things to happen in their own time. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, you are having someone coming in. You just have to heal and be um, patient with that. Uh, as well as for this group of you, um, it's dealing with court as well from the separation. Um, you're going to have to... Uh, um, compromise a little bit. And lastly, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt, have fun, go out, be yourself. Um, love is going to be attracted to you. So just go out and enjoy the moment. Um, have a good time and, and love will be drawn to you. All right. Tellers of the hidden realms. What advice do you have for our cancer friends for October? Okay. Your first card out is the Swan Queen. Um, it glides you and your way and asks that you look at your reflection in the events of your life. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. The Swan, the swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek answers in your own intuition, which you did have the card of intuition here. Don't look outside yourself for answers now. The true power lies 
The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you, and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. This is also a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality, because nothing happens overnight, which is brings us back to the let go of control issues. Things will happen in its own time. Your second card out was the Web Weaver. And with that card, the Web Weaver rejoices that your creations are far-reaching and have positive effects on many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the Web of Creation. When the Web Weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention and lets you know that you are not alone in your endeavors. Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicities occur. Music re reverberates through the web and plays in harmony with your own. This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. The web weaver gives you assurance that meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and wide and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. All things revealed are that through the web. So watch for synchronicities. Divine intelligence is happening behind the scenes for you. So just let go and let the transformation and the flow of the universe take you where you need to go because it's leading you to beautiful places, Cancer. I hope you guys have an amazing October. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. As always, if you have not subscribed, please do. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you for your support. I send you love, light, and God bless.